How do I purify a toilet seat if dried impurity, like urine is present, is using a dry tissue sufficient? So how do I purify dry impurity? Firstly, if you come across dry impurity, understand that based on the fact that it is dry, it is not going to transfer to something else if you touch it. So if there's dry impurity, so if there's a surface like a table or something of the sort, and there was urine on there and it wasn't washed, but it subsequently dried. If I touch that table with dry hands, so it's a dry table and dry hands is touching the dry table, there's going to be no transfer of najasa from the table to my hand. If the table is wet, even if it's not wet because of the urine, let's say it's the dry surface and then a few drops of water falls on that surface and then I touch, that would transfer the najasa according to the Shafi'i school. So if you get to a public restroom and you find that there's dry impurity, uh, the best way under that circumstance, at least in my imagination, is to cover the seat with toilet paper because it's not going to transfer onto you. If you choose to clean the seat before you use the toilet, then you're going to need to clean the seat with water because dry uh, tissue is not going to clean the dry impurity. Still, if, if it becomes wet, then uh, it can transfer. So how do you clean it with water? Essentially what needs to happen is you need to pour the water over the seat. But I see, I hope you can see the problem that, that arises with this. If the water that you pour over the seat now splashes everywhere onto the toilet floor, now you've contaminated the other area as well. So when we're dealing with impurities, try not to spread it further, right, in your attempt to actually cleanse it. And uh, I hope that makes sense, inshallah ta'ala. So again, if it's wet impurity, it is cleaned by pouring water there over and getting rid of the water, and that would clean it. Right? Of course, after the trace of the impurity is removed. If it is dry impurity, then there's no transfer of najasa. Right? And if you choose to clean it, then you're going to have to wet it and get rid of the water, and then uh, that would be fine. The best option is, if it's not going to affect you, um, and it's dry then just simply don't touch it or have something in between you and that. And if you do touch it, it doesn't transfer onto you because it's dry and Allah knows best. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah